The Harrisburg City Islanders clinched a playoff position in their final game of the season as they advanced to the postseason for the fourth consecutive year. Rookie Robbie Dershang was a key figure in the club's second half run up the standings as he finished tied for the team lead with six goals. Dershang joined us to talk about the City Islanders' visit to Orlando City, his development with the Austin Aztecs and University of Akron, and the contributions the City Islanders have received from Philadelphia Union loanees Pedro Ribeiro and Antoine Hoppeno. Robbie, thank you so much for taking the time to join us, and congratulations on reaching the playoffs with the City Islanders this season. Thank you. Appreciate it. This has got to be, it's been a very interesting season for you guys. It definitely felt like a very slow start, obviously, but right around mid-season, you guys seem to really turn things around, and it, it definitely seemed as though yourself, Morgan Langley, Jan Ekra, and some of the other offensive weapons that you have really started to click. What was mm-hmm. the difference between the first half of the season and the second? Um, I think the, the difference was uh, in the first half of the season, uh, I feel like, it was a fairly new team, uh, from what I understand, from uh, some of the returning guys. Uh, so I think we just had to get used to, you know, playing with each other um, since there's a lot of new faces. And I think we just didn't um, establish, you know, a, a good uh, chemistry on the field. Um, and we, we couldn't quite figure out, that, you know, the, the right personnel um, for some positions on the field and, you know, just establish our, uh, you know, our personality on the field as a team. So I think, you know, um, we just couldn't really connect in, in, in spark, you know, uh, flair in the beginning of the season. And then once we kind of settled in and, you know, start understanding each other, you know, understanding the games and our style of play, then I think, you know, uh, we relaxed and settled in and then just everything started clicking for us. And, uh, you know, then we started uh, stringing some, uh, some wins together and uh, finding results. How big a role did uh, Coach Bill Betcher have in kind of that transformation and getting the pieces of the puzzle to fit together, as it were? Um, I think he had a, a, you know, a very significant um, role in it. I think, uh, you know, he was testing out, you know, uh, where some players should play and where they shouldn't. And, uh, you know, he was very, very patient in the process and just kind of letting us, you know, work it out ourselves um, and, you know, letting us be professional about it um, to – you know, figure out what, what we need to do. Um, and then he kept, once he, you know, started putting people in the right places and kept, uh, you know, those guys playing, um, he, you know, I think he was just patient enough for us to figure it out. And I think that's what, you know, helped us um, get comfortable and then get those results going. You made the step up to USL Pro, the professional ranks this year. You were previously playing in college and also for the Austin Aztecs in the PDL. What mm-hmm. was the experience with the Aztecs like? And did it translate over? Did it help this season as you uh, made the jump into the professional ranks? Yeah, I think I attribute a lot of um, you know my success and uh, the way uh, you know I approach the the professional ranks um, to the Austin Aztecs. Um, that environment um, when I played with them last summer was uh, it was very very professional, uh, very organized, um, you know, and it was it felt like a professional environment. Um, and I uh, you know attribute that to uh, uh, Paul Dagley, who was the head coach there uh, at the time, and uh, I think it was a great you know place to help prepare you for the next level. And then of course going into my uh, college, my last college season at um, University of Akron, that also really helped. Um, you know, I was prepared in Austin, and then I was also prepared in uh, Akron for the the next level because Akron's a you know a great place to uh, you know that, that helps players prepare for the next level. So um, yeah, both those places were great environments to you know help me uh, better my game and make the transition. Austin's going to be joining USL Pro next season. Paul's back there as the head coach again mm-hmm. to lead them in that transition. Is that exciting to see as a former player for them that they're making the jump into the professional ranks and are going to be part of USL Pro next year? Yeah, that's it's uh, exciting news. You know, it's, it's really uh, I'm very happy uh, you know to see that uh, organization make a jump into USL because they were such a great organization in PDL and very professional and. You know, how to, uh, great resources, great coaching, um, everything. So um, I think, and I think it's phenomenal for the the city of Austin to uh, you know now have a professional team because uh, it's, a, it's a a good soccer city, and I could see that for just being there for one summer. Um, you could see you know how everyone is excited about that. So it's, I think it's uh, great for the organization. 
there have been a few players that have come down from the Philadelphia Union. Obviously, the partnership with the City Islanders has enabled that. And it definitely seemed like some of the guys like Pedro Ribeiro, Antoine Hoppeno were really chipping in and, and finding their feet as well alongside you guys. What did those two guys in particular bring to the attack over these last 10 games of the season or so? Yeah, um, I mean, it's uh, it's great that they can, uh, you know, that we have a partnership and affiliation with uh, the union. They can send down, you know, players to help us out. And I think uh, those two players, and Antoine and Pedro, uh, were tremendous help for us um, in the attack. You know, with, we put Pedro up top, and uh, he was just, you know, his physical presence, you know, what he brings, um, how he can hold the ball up, he can make, the, you know, the final pass, and he can really uh, – uh, he can finish uh, very well too. So we needed that in our attack. You know, we're a very you know fast team. We like to run at people um, on the flanks and in the midfield. And with him holding the ball up, um, you know that just brought that last final piece that we needed. And then with Antoine, the same. You know, he's he works very hard and he's a very dynamic player. Um, and those two, you know, working working hard and um, came in and really helped. And they they were bought in from the start too. You know, they didn't go through the motions. They came in and and wanted to play for us and wanted to help us out. And their uh, attacking uh, attributes really, really benefit our team. It definitely feels as though with the speed that you have on the team that you guys are really set up to, to counter-attack and counter-punch very strongly. Do you think that's going to be a benefit as you head down to Orlando for the quarterfinals this weekend against obviously the Alliance side that's very possession-oriented and is going to try and put you guys under pressure from the outset? Yeah, I think, you know, this is, um, we are a team that likes to counter and likes to, you know, if we win the ball off of you, we like to go uh, quick, um, very fast to goal. Um, and it, I think that, you know, helped us a lot um, when the first time we played them, when we had success and in, in, uh, beat them the first time. Because um, they, they, yeah, they're very, uh, Orlando's a very good team with the ball. They keep it very well, play very good soccer. Um, but every time we, we won the ball, uh, I think they were kind of brought, you know, taken back by our speed and, and how we like to counter. And, and we did the same thing when we went and played them um, in Orlando. And unfortunately, we didn't get the result, but I think it was tough for them. So um, I think that, you know, when we go to uh, Orlando, that we're just going to be patient um, in, the, in the attack and patient in defense. And, you know, uh, if we win the ball for them, I don't think we're going to change our game at all. We're going to keep going at them um, and keep using our counterattack to, you know, catch them off guard and to, to, you know, give them some problems. Was that the biggest thing you took away from the two games, especially with them coming so close together on back-to-back weekends? Um, I think that, yeah, we got that from them. I mean, we know that they could play, um, and we understood that right away. Um but I think that, yeah, we, when we took from those two games back-to-back is, hey, we can, you know, if we fight and we play our game, that we can, you know, um, and say, you know, composed and organized, that we can uh, compete with them and, you know, and make a result. <clears throat> and I think we understood that our first game and then the second game when we played them, um, we still, you know, use the same thing. Um, but they can, you know, it's, playing in Orlando is a very tough place to play. Um, and they know how to play, and I feel very well. But uh, from those two games, I think we took away, you know, what our strengths are and, and what uh, we need to work on. So. Three years ago first USL Pro Championship game in 2011, Orlando and Harrisburg played. Don't know if you saw the game or remember the game, but it finished in a 2-2 draw and the Lions took victory in a penalty shootout. Very dramatic mm-hmm. game. Do you think we could be set up for something similar this weekend? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, uh, I did see the game. Uh, I did watch end up seeing the highlights, um, and I thought how you know it was just a, it was a wild game, and it was it was a great game. Um, you know, I think uh, both teams are now are going to be very you know excited and, and very prepared for um, you know this game because there's a lot of history from that final and you know from the games that we played already this year. Um, so I think this what's going to happen on Saturday is just it's going to be a great a great match. That's that's all I can say. You know, I think it's just going to be two teams that are, you know, want to win and are hungry to win. And I think it'll be a great game. Well, I know we're all definitely looking forward to seeing it. Best of luck in Orlando this weekend. And, uh, and congratulations on a great season, Robbie. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you for, uh, thanks for the time. 
Robbie Dershang and the City Islanders visit Orlando City SC in the quarterfinals of the 2014 USL Pro Playoffs on Saturday night at 7.30pm Eastern Time at the ESPN Wide World of Sports Complex. Join us for all of the action on YouTube and follow USL Pro on social media via at USL Pro on Twitter and also through Facebook, Google Plus and Instagram.